Since being named a stellar community in 2011, Greencastle has experienced a renaissance of sorts. The change was literally almost overnight. We were able to do things in sort of a dramatic push so that you saw change within a year or two. And Tapa coined a term called community, community and university. And we know that we are only as strong as each other. And we want to provide a place that is safe and fun for their students, as well as for our townspeople. In just under a decade, the downtown has added eight new restaurants, notably the upscale Italian eatery Bridges in 2017. And most recently, Breadworks by Bridges, both owned and operated by the Greenfields Group who one might say has single-handedly been responsible for transforming Greencastle into a foodie destination that rivals some of the best in the Midwest. I thought, let's, let's grow it and let's have different restaurants, different concepts, bakeries, burger places, Italian restaurants, sushi restaurants, and so far, I mean, it's, it's really taken off and become a big thing. His latest culinary project, Breadworks, serves everything from fresh donuts and pastries to sushi and sandwiches. So this is a strawberry shortcake cake cup. Ooh. Mm -hmm. That's as good as it smells and sounds. But it's the commercial bakery side that's seen early success. What I found here was you either got high quality but it was really high price and it was hard to get. Or you got low quality and you can get as much as you wanted it. But I said, why sacrifice that? Why not be in the middle? Good quality, good price, and we work with everybody. So that's how Breadworks came to be. We distribute to Butler University, uh, Wabash University, DePaul University. We're in negotiations with multiple other restaurants, but we only opened four months ago, and so we didn't expect so much volume right off the bat. So is the ultimate goal to be distributed throughout Indiana? Throughout the Midwest, and then throughout the, the country is the wow. ultimate goal, I'd say. But yeah, we'll start with Indiana, and then we'll go to the rest of the Midwest, and then the rest of the country. That's the goal, at least. And Good Grub is perhaps Greencastle's ticket to building what they're hoping is the next great college town in the Midwest. And by all accounts, they're on the right track. I think all of us that are in college towns realize it's a synergistic relationship between campus and community. If DePaul is successful, Greencast will be successful. That helps DePaul recruit faculty, quality students uh, to campus so that they can continue their success. We're just very grateful that we have been able to capture the momentum that has really led to some really great things for downtown Greencastle. Mary Rachel Redman, Inside Indiana Business.